Hello, this is a quick start guide and overview of the uh, layout presets or layout switcher plugin for Unreal Engine 4. So if you purchase the plugin, the first thing you want to be doing is going to plugins, uh, layout and layout switcher, make sure it's enabled. Uh, it will appear uh, probably up here in your installed list. And then very simply under window, you'll have two new options. You've got this layout presets and we've got the safe layout as or load layout. So what we're going to do is we'll just change the layouts here a little bit. Let's grab a second content browser. Let's put it down here. Let's move modes over to here. Let's put details tabbed up here as well. Let's give myself some full space. And this is kind of how I might picture a bit of an editor level designer layout. So we'll go with something like that. So we've got window, save layout as. And then we get our save uh, custom layout UI. This may change because I want to keep improving this. I'm still kind of improving on my slate knowledge. So this is subject to change, but it'll be roughly the same as this. So layout name, we'll call this the um, world designer layout. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. And then we'll just hit save as, and we can see here successfully save layout. If I hit open directory, this will pull up uh, the folder browser for where it's just saved. So we can see the level uh, world designer layout.ini there, and that's our INI for this project. So maybe I decide actually I don't like this, so I want to revert back. So I'm going to go load layout, and these are ones I saved earlier. So I'm going to load the base layout. And we'll just load this. This requires you to restart. If you want to save changes, continue. Okay. And once your editor has booted back up, then you see we have a whole new layout. It's all changed. And that's great. And now I'm going to decide actually, I want to revert back to the one we just made. So we'll go World Design Layout. OK. Wait for the editor to restart. Unfortunately, the editor restarting isn't necessary for how the editor. Uh, loads UIs. It's much the same as if you use the built-in reset layout option. Uh, this one here, which resets you back to the default system, it has to restart as well. But as you can see, we've changed the layout has now changed back to how we did with the content browsers here and the settings on the right side. But you know what? I don't like this. So let's grab modes and I'm going to dock modes down here and we're going to go save layout as and we're going to find the world designer layout. We'll click that, which will refill in our name and it'll automatically overwrite. There is no confirmation for that currently, but there might be in the future. And we'll just save as successfully save layout. So we've updated that existing layout with the new changes. And really it's as simple as that. I think it'd be very useful for individuals and studios alike, especially if you're a bit of an all rounder, bit of a jack of all trades where you kind of do all the jobs. It's going to be really useful for you to be able to switch between animation layouts. Like I really like having a separate sequencer layout with the sequencer docked, things like that. So I hope this plugin is useful to you. Any questions, hit me up on the Discord link and I can help you out there. Thank you.